on this Friday confirmed coronavirus cases around the world now closing in on 14 million, with more than 3.5 million of those cases right here in the U.S. <laughs> The United States reported more than a thousand deaths from COVID-19 yesterday, and the total death toll from the pandemic topped 142,000. What we have typically described as the essential workforce. The no matter what kind of challenge, pandemic, emergency, or disaster presents itself, our job never ends. Wastewater and sanitation agencies are staffed 24-7 365 days a year to ensure that our customers receive safe and reliable wastewater services, rain or shine. We ensure our community's wastewater doesn't go to waste, but is thoroughly cleaned to meet or exceed the highest standards in the nation and is either reused, repurposed, or returned back to the environment safely. Our responsibility lies with our communities as well as our environment. Your dedicated wastewater operators, lab technicians, analysts, and field staff complete rigorous training and certification programs to guarantee all California wastewater agencies meet or exceed state compliance standards. This protects our local watersheds, ensures that the water that flows into our creeks, basins, and ultimately the ocean is clean, healthy to support marine life, people, and recreational uses. So the first sanitation infrastructures date back up to 4000 BCE, prehistoric Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, which used clay pipes and gravity-fed ditches to remove wastewater from communities. This important understanding of the development of the first sewage infrastructure to remove waste was an early advancement to promote and protect public health. Even today, we continue to use gravity to transport waste to our treatment facilities ensuring that our communities have a fundamental service to build strong economies, safe homes, and healthy ecosystems. But that's not the end of our story. Significant advancements in treatment technologies have allowed for wastewater to be reused beneficially to improve the lives of communities with outdoor irrigation, saving the need for using precious potable water supply, and in some cases, even creating a localized drinking water supply. Purple pipe systems that use tertiary treated recycled water for outdoor irrigation have been used for decades, which is a major advancement in water conservation efforts throughout California. More recently, due to increasing competition for potable water resources, climate change, population growth, the strong environmental desire to recycle and reuse, and increasing energy costs to move water, many water recycling projects across California and the country have begun oper operating, or plan to begin operation soon. California's topography, with its mountains and valleys and its diverse microclimates, requires wastewater service professionals to be highly trained and highly skilled to make sure that we transport and treat the waste safely. Today's wastewater treatment is a complex industry, balancing modern treatment processes to ensure public health while also maintaining stewardship of the environment. It takes a highly trained professional workforce to maintain and operate this complex system. There are many opportunities within the wastewater field, from an operator in training to senior operations technician to management. It's definitely been uh, a challenging but rewarding uh, experience working here in, in water treatment as you get to learn a, a variety of science uh, disciplines but also get the sense of uh, pride in the work that you do because you, not only are you protecting the environment but you're also providing an essential service for the community. We have almost $500 million worth of facilities, equipment, pump stations, and reservoirs, and every one of these members of these team take care of, monitor, replace, repair, do all the necessary work to all the items to make sure we provide potable water 24 hours a day, seven days a week, wastewater treatment plant service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our field and plant mechanics are available at a moment's notice if the plant has a problem and come in the middle of the night, repair equipment, get it back going again, so that way the public never knows anything's even happened. We all know access to safe running water is absolutely critical during crisis events, and wastewater service is no different. Sewage spills, clogs, or overflows have the potential to contaminate nearby waterways and are direct threats to public health. Contingency plans are integral to making sure that we are prepared for even the worst case scenarios. On August 24, 2014, at 3 o'clock in the morning, 
the South Napa earthquake struck, causing insurmountable loss, damage, and destruction to our region. As an essential service, Vallejo Flood and Wastewater District employees were dispatched immediately to verify the condition of our treatment plant and collection system. While we did find some damage, uh, the immediate crisis to the Vallejo community were the water main breaks. The City of Vallejo manages the drinking water supply here in Vallejo and we're experiencing many major water main breaks and several leaks causing a uh, loss in water supply throughout many parts of the city. Um, before noon on the same day of the earthquake, our district staff were out supporting city crews in making the needed repairs. We did hydro excavation work, uh, clearing all the debris from the breaks, which allowed for city staff to come in and make the needed repairs. Although our district is an entirely separate agency providing wastewater, stormwater, and flood control services, our field staff had the necessary experience, training, and certifications needed to make the needed repairs. It was around three in the morning when the earthquake shook me away. I was on call and the alarms were going off at the plant. The plant still had power and all structures were intact. But the influent pH was falling fast. By the look and the smell, we realized that the wine was flowing into the plant and lots of it. The treatment process took a hard hit. A good portion of the biology, especially in our aeration basins, died, creating a process upset and potential non-compliance issues. Since wastewater flow never stops, we quickly took action to divert flow to our treatment ponds and adjusted the treatment process. Because we acted quickly, we were back online treating wastewater and producing quality recycled water for the community within 48 hours. As an essential service, wastewater treatment staff are here to serve you 24 seven, no matter what. In 2018, our agency, along with other communities, had to battle the destructive Woolsey Fire. As the communities were under mandatory evacuation, our staff at Tapia Water Reclamation Facility had to stay back and man the plant and continue to let the wastewater flow and be treated and processed. Because the fire was burning directly toward Tapia, our operators had to man the plant for three straight days and nights. We were on generator power due to the intermittent power outages. We had to manually run pumps, motors, and blowers to efficiently treat the wastewater coming in. We shared our lunchroom and restroom with the first responders, made sure they got plenty of rest and were able to take showers before returning back to work. Maybe a lot of people don't think about what happens to the water or where it goes when you flush your toilet or brush your teeth. But we know how important it is for the public health, safety, and environmental stewardship to make sure we keep treating the wastewater no matter what. We are in unprecedented times in response to this COVID-19 pandemic, and specifically in meeting the moment of this pandemic. But in response, researchers across universities throughout the United States have engaged in studies to track the spread of coronavirus throughout the wastewater at wastewater treatment facilities. This is also called sewer surveillance and wastewater-based epidemiology. Initial studies have shown through sewer surveillance that COVID-19, or I should say coronavirus, can actually be spread throughout the community and can be indicated through indicators in the wastewater but also can show whether or not coronavirus is still prevalent in the community. LA Sanitation is involved in wastewater-based epidemiology through partnering with some of the ongoing studies. While we can never be certain about what the future holds, our customers can trust that we remain dedicated to serving you through thick and thin, rain or shine, and even during a pandemic. All of us here at your local wastewater treatment facilities and the California Association of Sanitation Agencies continues to dedicate our careers to serving our communities, protecting the environment, and ensuring public health. Our guarantee to you is that we're here. We will always. We'll always. Always. And we will always meet the moment.